Hey, we're the Keens. And in the fall of 2022, we bought a 20 acre piece of property in Northwest Louisiana. Come follow along as we turn it into a homestead. Today I'm putting up a fence for the dogs. One of our dogs tried to run away the other day. She used to be a hunting dog in her past life, but now her mommy doesn't want her running away and chasing animals. So we, uh, we got some fence materials. So I'm gonna put this on time lapse and just let it run. So last night I went through and dug all the holes with the auger and then I set the terminal posts and put concrete in there so that it could set up overnight. Um, just from pulling the string lines, I kind of pulled this post where it's not 100% plumb. You can see there's just a little bit of daylight down there. It's not bad, it's just almost touching that line. So, if anyone decides to do this, just just the string line alone will uh, pull it over when you're putting them in concrete. But I think that's the only one that moved any because I was kind of pulling on it pretty hard to get it around this pole. This one's, I should have showed y'all from back here. This one's not 100% a straight line. I had to kind of come off of where I wanted it to be because there's an old stump here and I was hitting roots and everything else and I made it through but it just kind of kicked me off center. So what I did is I just took my string line and got it snug here so that at least all of these will be in line. And then the same thing looking back this way. <clears throat> and I did that all the way around. That was really the, the worst pole right here with that, looks like a big oak tree or something was there. So now I'm gonna go back and set all the line posts today, put on the top rail, hopefully start putting up a little fence. Here's a look at that. My string has kind of gotten loose, but when you do it, you want it to be on the inside where the wire will go. It's not bad, but it's off a little bit. Okay, I got all the line posts set. I need to cut off probably four of them or so. I tried to dig my holes deep enough to where I could just kind of bury them and not have to cut, them off, cut off the top, but I hit stumps and whatnot and that auger just couldn't get through maybe some of the harder areas where the clay was. So I'll have to cut a couple. I still need to, to dig the hole for this one. And there's one more over here for where the gates will latch. Good morning. 
This light pole's gonna go away. Probably both of them. We'll probably reuse them in the front yard or something, but right now I'm just trying to get the fence up before I take them down. So you can see where I was trying to drive it in and I hit the concrete there. Over here, there is no concrete, but it's too far from the house. So I'm gonna dig my hole out, kind of centered around that, back this way a little bit more. And since it's only about eight inches deep or so, I'll uh, fill it up solid with concrete and I think it'll hold just because the fence isn't gonna be hinged on this post, it's just gonna latch to it. My bag busted open. We brought them yesterday and it was kind of rainy. We covered them up on the way home, but they just got wet from going down the road. So all the bags have kind of been falling apart today. So after triple measuring, I need to cut all of my line posts and eventually the terminal posts, but uh, even the line posts I thought were right are gonna end up being about two inches too tall. And that's mainly because we just want our fence touching and probably a little in the ground just to help keep the dogs from digging. And plus when you stretch it, it's gonna go from like 48 inches, it'll squeeze down a little bit. So hopefully it'll work out just right.
I had to stop working on my fence so we could pick up some trash. Since we've moved into this house, we have taken load after load of trash out of the yard to the dump. Today, we filled an entire trailer full of trash out of the woods. The back of the truck is full and we still have a few more things to load up down the driveway. But I think this is finally our last load of trash. Never say never because there's always more trash. Everywhere we look, every time we lift up a piece of wood or we walk through the woods, there's a beer can in a tree. But hopefully this is it. I had to use this smooth wire. It's 12 gauge for the uh, for the bottom where the hog rings go. And I ran out of the ties that go on the, the line post. You kind of see them there, they were aluminum. And I just needed a few more, so I'm just taking this wire here and you just kind of twist it and you separate the two pieces and cut it up. It takes a little bit longer, but uh, it's gonna let me finish today. I ended up having to dig a trench to put the fence in and chop some stumps over there or chop some roots on that stump but it's pretty much done the fence is finally done it took us about three weekends and by us i mean stetson uh we ended up getting the majority of the material for this fence for free uh but it still cost us about a thousand dollars to get everything out we got the like actual fencing wire the mesh. the mesh or the no the net the netting for free <laughs> but we had to buy the poles and some caps and hinges for gates and gates so it was still a pretty pricey project but it was worth it for my peace of mind as the dog mom uh, Bella tried to run away into the woods recently so this was a necessary project uh, but it's done and they seem to like it straight to the mud we weren't gonna do any landscaping this early but we went to the nursery today and these azalea bushes which were originally ten dollars were two dollars off so we got them each for about eight dollars uh, so we got eight of them and we decided we want to have a little hedge around the front of the house. These are purple. Let's see if I can get it to do. Mm. There we go. Purple Formosa azaleas. They'll get about six feet tall and six feet wide. And they're kind of like a more of a hot pink than a purple. But we're excited to see these bloom. <laughs> it's good. Mallory's planting. I'm digging the holes. We ran out of potting soil, so she's reusing some from around the house. Little clumps of it every now and then. 